Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me. My name is Ziki and those of you who are coming in for the first time, thank you so much. Please subscribe so that you don't miss on the updates that I give to you all the time. Anyway, so today we are having two issues that we're going to look at. The first one is about the plans by the government to reduce the days of our quarantine from 14 to 7 days and also we are going to talk about social distancing. All right. So on our first story, uh, the government plans to reduce the number of quarantine days that were being uh, subjected to um, retainees from 14 to 7 days. Why? They are saying we don't have enough resources to look after these people for 14 days. Yes, yeah, they're saying the people who are coming back from uh, abroad, um, they need to be taken care of, they need food, they need some basic needs like water, electricity and all other things, okay? But the government is saying we don't have such resources, okay? You know, for us to look after them for 14 days, we cannot do that. So it's better for us to reduce the days to seven days, okay? So they're saying they will have to stay for seven days and after the seven days, on the eighth day, they're going to be tested and if found negative, they can then be discharged to go to their homes which is okay but hey remember 14 days is the stipulated days uh, that was put by world health organization taking note of what taking note of the um, incubation period of the virus in the system in the in the human body so now anyway this is what we have let me know what you think in our comment section for those of you who are always in our discussion forums thank you so much let me know what you think okay um do you think it's proper because some experts are saying this is very very dangerous okay it's a very dangerous move to reduce the number of days like that but at the same time we also need to look at these people who are coming in from abroad or from outside the country they they need food okay they need proper accommodation okay so if the government cannot provide that then how can we how can we how, how can they live in such conditions so if the government is saying okay we are going to let you be in there seven days we monitor you and then we test you and then we let you go i think also to a certain extent that could be an an option even though it's a risk situation it's a win-win situation okay it's a win-win situation it's on both sides so this is the issue that we have right now and we'll see what is going to happen after that because a lot of people some experts are saying well it's risky it's very very risky to do that okay it's risky for you to do that because we see a lot of countries it's not only zimbabwe a lot of countries that are going into all this 14 days quarantine yes even here in china when you come in china china is even way they've put even more stiffer measures yes more stiffer measures, especially for people who are coming in from abroad do you know that in china planes they don't come direct to Beijing that we have to go to another city and then it is from the other cities that you're going to be tested and then if they find that you don't have the virus you're okay then you're going to be put back into the plane then you can come to Beijing you understand because this is the this is just how tough they've made it okay and it's compulsory for anybody entering Beijing to be quarantined understand and the way they put you in some hotels people have been even complaining that some of the places that they let you pay go and stay they are expensive you know because you you feed the bull the, the bill okay so some of people are like it's very expensive but this is just how stiff it is and some better people other people have been asking me like but how did china managed to, to 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 contain this how did they manage to do this let me tell you something and also some people were giving theories you know i don't want to talk about that but let me tell you something china was able to do what we call total lockdown yes total lockdown there was no movement okay there was no movement we were indoors so i saw a meme that people made that was saying um in china Discipline saved them. And in Africa, what is going to kill them? You have to tell me. But all I know is discipline really saved China because the moment they say it's locked down, it was locked down. You were not supposed to show your face roaming outside, roaming the streets. It was locked down. Okay? Now, it brings me to our second issue, which I wanted to talk about. We saw the video of uh, Prophet Freddy, right? When his church was demolished. 
Yes. I was worried I was touched that his church was demolished, but that wasn't the only thing that touched me. Did you notice that there were people in the streets, outside, not only one, not only two, but many people. So where is social distancing in that? Children outside running and playing. So where is the social distancing in that? I failed to see social, dis social distancing in that video, okay? And I was like, so if people are doing like this in every other place, why are we even on lockdown? Because this whole thing defies what we are saying, lockdown. Is it only lockdown that people are not supposed to go to work? People are just not supposed to go and sell their ways or something. Or it's a lockdown you could to protect yourselves and everything, okay? But street, you get it. People are outside. And control. So what is the point of a lockdown? must open it like it's open. Okay, <laughs> it was open, and when I saw it, I was like, Wow, Prophet Freddy, I am sorry about what happened to your church that it was demolished. But hey, hold up there. What about these people? What are they doing? Where is the social distancing there? If, imagine if one person is good, is, is, is the virus, but it's not yet detected, and they're mixing and mingling and playing outside like that. <laughs> what is gonna happen? When I saw it, I was like, Wow, really. What's going on there? I thought I heard that there were some people who have been put in the streets to monitor the whole situation to make sure that people were adhering to this. But when I saw this video, I was like, well, well, what's going on with that? Anyway, so I was like, anyway, maybe that's how it is. We are in Africa, you know, it's difficult for, for you to tell people to stay at home and not be going outside. It's difficult, okay? It's difficult, you know, we, there are so many um, so many things to consider. You're, you are in the house, what are you doing in the house? Maybe you don't even have um, some food in the house. Maybe you don't even have electricity. Maybe you don't even have... Uh, <laughs> television maybe you don't even have amusement in the house so you get bored so you come out but at the same time it's risky okay it's risky people please tell your children to stay indoors tell your children to stay away from mixing with people okay please stay away just to try it's hard but that's the only way we know for now okay that's the only way we know for now. Anyway, another issue is the issue of fake news. Oh my God. You know these days, before you even believe, before you even believe anything, just think like, this also could be fake. Okay? All the news, all the information and everything that is circulating out there, sometimes you feel like, really? And I've seen now there's another trend that is going on of people are now digging in old videos especially when we're talking about china we're talking about africa china thing people are now digging old videos and they'll say look at this see what is happening now see hey this is very bad look some of the videos very very old like three four five years ago we saw them and i've seen some other videos that are circulating and i'm like this person this person was beaten because of what they did but anyway wrong that I, I don't support i don't condone and i have even more stories to share about this whole situation because I've, I've been a victim before in a different dimension but the way people put it out there you just have to be careful because otherwise you are going to be stressed over some issues that are that are even fake you're going to be waked up like oh my god what is happening oh oh maybe my child is dying on the on and yet People are very good at making things blow out of proportion. We are very good of storytelling, you know? If I tell a story right now, I can be like, wow, 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 adding and adding and adding and adding and adding and adding and adding. And then the people who are going to listen to me will be like, wow, so this place people cannot even live again. People cannot even walk again. People cannot even eat again. People are not even sleeping and walking and... You understand? This is just how it is. So let's be careful out there. But remember, social distancing 
is not just a statement, but is an action. Take care of yourselves and later.